Hi, welcome to Naresh IT. My name is Satish. Today I am going to be discussing about the restrictions in XSG. Means how to provide the restrictions for acceptable data in XSD elements. How to provide the restrictions for acceptable data of elements. So observe how to provide the restrictions. Actually to provide the restrictions XSD is given many number of constraints, many number of constraints. So what are the constraints are given by XSD is min inclusive, max inclusive, min exclusive, max exclusive, total digits, fraction digits, pattern, white space, enumeration min exclusive, max exclusive, total digits, fraction digits, pattern, white space, enumeration, length, max length, min length. So, total 12 constraints are given by XSD. These 12 constraints are used to provide the restrictions for acceptable data of elements as well as for attributes. Okay, how to provide the restrictions? Okay, by using these restrictions, now I am going to be providing some restrictions for XSD elements. So, you know how to create a element. If you want to create element, we can use element name is equal to element name type is equal to data type. For example, element name is equal to salary type is equal to decimal. Based on the data type, salary will allow the value. Based on the data type, salary is allows the value. Okay, that is. But here I want to provide some restrictions for salary element. What are the restrictions is the salary minimum value 10,000, maximum value 90,000. Salary minimum value I want to maintain as 10,000. Salary maximum value I want to maintain as 90,000. So, to maintain minimum salary as a 10,000, maximum salary as a 90,000, then here we can work with some constraints like what min inclusive, max inclusive or min exclusive, max exclusive. Okay. So, in this example, in this example, salary created without any restrictions. So, salary is allows and value that is a decimal type, but here there are no restrictions for salary, but I want to build the restrictions now by using above constraints. So, without the restrictions when we are creating the element, this is a syntax generally we are using, but with restrictions when we are creating an element, what is the syntax we are using now observe. Whenever you want to provide the restrictions, here we can use simple type element name is equal to element name, element name is equal to element name close element. Whenever you want to provide the restrictions, we can use the syntax like this. Here if you want to provide the restrictions, do not specify the type directly. Here we can provide simple type simple type tag is making this one as a simple data type, simple type element. Inside the simple type, use restriction base, whatever the data type you required, the data type we can use, restriction. Inside the restriction, use the above constraints as per the requirement. So, with the restrictions whenever you wanted to create a element, what is the syntax required here? Element, element name, make that element as a simple type and this element is allows what type of data that we can specify by using data type and by using the above constraints, by using the above constraints, you can specify here the restrictions. So, how to provide? For example, element 
name is equal to salary close element make this element as a simple type close simple type restriction base is equal to for example decimal close restriction inside the restriction use the above constants like here min inclusive value is equal to 10000 max inclusive value is equal to 90000 means here the employee salary minimum 10000 maximum 90000 10000 greater than or equal to 90000 less than or equal to why less than or equal to is here i am using inclusive so like we can provide what restrictions okay this is a valid restriction or not check by writing complete xsg and by using validator software so now i want to check this is a valid restriction or not so now observe write the xsg you know already schema is a root element schema in the schema create as per the requirement target namespace target namespace is equal to http colon for example emp info dot com next xml ns is equal to http colon www dot w3 dot org slash 2001 slash xml schema here why we are writing this xml ns to use the schema plus child elements of schema with the short name if you are not writing this xml ns this xml namespace then each and every element of schema required to be write with what fully qualified name that is increasing the burden next element form default is equal to qualified okay now create the elements element name is equal to employees element element name is equal to employees make this one as a complex type complex type create with the sequence data type next create the child elements element name is equal to employee close element complex type complex type again create what child sequence data type to create the child's okay inside the employee the child elements i am going to be creating element name is equal to emp number type is equal to int element name is equal to name type is equal to string element name is equal to salary yeah here important one is i want to provide the restrictions for salary elements so how to provide the restrictions for salary element now observe just now we discussed the syntax here we can make this one as a simple type whenever we are providing some restrictions simple type and to specify the salary data type we can use restriction base is equal to the data type like decimal inside the restriction base we can use the constants to specify the restrictions here the constants like what min inclusive value is equal to 10000 max inclusive 
value is equal to 90,000. So, salary minimum 10,000 and maximum 90,000. Here, I want to allow the employee 1 to n number of times. To, to allow 1 to n number of times, we can use some constraints. Min occurs is equal to 1. Max occurs is equal to unbounded. Unbounded means infinite number of times it allows. Yeah, this is our XSD. Save with the name of employees dot XSD. Okay. Save. Now, you can check it is a valid XSD or not. To check it is a valid XSD or not, you can use validate our software. Open file name is employees dot XSD. Now, validate. Yeah, it is valid. Okay, next write the XML. By writing the XML, check our XML is working properly or not as per this XSD. Okay, what is the root element as employees? Employees. Okay, XML NS is equal to HTTP colon EMP info dot com. Next schema location. Schema location attribute is used to map this XML document with XSD. Schema location syntax is namespace space file name g colon slash xml slash employees dot xsd. But schema location attribute is given by w3c in the following namespace. So, to use the schema location with short name also write the xml namespace for schema location http colon www dot w3 dot org slash 2001 slash xml schema iphone instance ok here i am created one prefix xsi so schema location we can use with the prefix as what xsi ok now we can write the child elements what is the child element name employee 1 to n number of employees are possible to use in employee employee number 101 employee number name raja close name salary is having some restrictions salary minimum value 10000 maximum value 90000 okay i am using salary as a 12000 so now it is valid or not check okay save employees dot xml employees dot xml by using validator software validate this xml file our xml file name is employees dot xml now validate yeah now it is valid but already have some restrictions so as per that restrictions it is working or not check okay by mistake suppose salary I am taking as a 2000, but the restriction is salary minimum 10,000, but here I am taking salary as 2000. So, here validates what is the error is coming check. It is saying as what not valid, not valid. Why? What is the error? Value 2000, value 2000 must be greater than or equal to min inclusive facet value as what 10,000. So, salary must be minimum 10,000. So, like it is saying. So, maximum salary also allows as what 90,000. Similarly, you can also provide the restrictions for remaining elements also. Remaining elements means here I am provided the restrictions only for what salary. Similarly, now I want to provide the restriction for employee number. I want to provide the restrictions for name. 
So, that next time I am going to be introducing. Okay, here the syntax to provide the restrictions as element, here the element name, make that element as a simple type. By using restriction, we can specify the data type and use that constraints. Total how many constraints are given here by XSD is 12 constraints are given by XSD. By using these constraints, we can provide the restrictions. For example, one more condition I am taking, one more example. Here, acceptable value, acceptable value is 3 characters only. The acceptable value is 3 characters only that are upper case letters or lower case letters only. Upper case letters or lower case letters only. So, how to provide the restrictions for this one? Uh, you know now syntax element name is equal to for example, here last name element name is last name close element make this one as a simple type here simple type close simple type inside this one use restriction base is equal to last name is string data type so use string restriction inside the restriction now i am using one constant as pattern in the previous example i am using min inclusive max inclusive now i am going to be using one constant as pattern pattern value here we can provide some regular expression conditions for example the pattern value what is the requirement here acceptable value three characters only that are either upper case letters or lower case letters so simply here for one 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 character we can take here one 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 brace in this what are the characters you want to allow a to z upper case letters and lower case letters here also a to z a to z here also a to z a to z so like we can provide so acceptable value is only three characters that are upper case letters only ok similarly for example if you want to provide acceptable value is 6 digits only, 6 digits only. So, how to specify the acceptable value is 6 digits only? To specify the acceptable value is 6 digits only, just we can take like this. For example, element name is zip code, zip code, restriction based string, here take 0 to 9, 0 to 9, similarly 0 to 9, 0 to 9, here the acceptable value is only 6 digits, only 6 digits. So, like we can specify the pattern, but here many number of braces writing is burden, ok. So, how to use the shortcuts? to provide what acceptable value is 6 digits or acceptable value is 0 to n number of conditions, how to apply by using some another shortcuts that I will discuss in the next section. Thank you for watching.